Hello everyone, welcome to the practical series of security in computing. Uh, today we will be doing layer 2 security. So this is the topology we will be using. So here we have 4 PCs and 4 switches. This is switch A, switch B, okay. uh, this is switch A, this is switch B, switch 1, switch 2. And you can see the interfaces. Before this practical we were not concerned which, which interface we are connecting with this particular switch but now we will be naming them actually we, we must be connecting these same interfaces. So this is a uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 1, 0 slash 2, 0 slash 24 is connected with 0 slash 1 of this one and so on. You can just note down the interface. We will be doing the same connection here. So here we have the cloud PT and here we have the multi layer switch and this is the router. So we will just uh, note, we can just note down this particular topology. We will be using this topology for our practical. So now we use Cisco Packet Tracer for the current topology. So first we select the PCs, we take two PCs and place here, then second here. Four PCs we have to take. This is one, this is another. Okay, we can place it far apart. Then we need four switches. So this is one, then this is another one here, then here, one more here, then one more here, then we need one more switch, multi switch. So this we can get it from here, this is the multi switch. Then uh, we have a, rout a router and then a cloud. So we can get cloud. So cloud, we need empty cloud is mentioned. Okay. So okay, we can even take this PT cloud. Okay. Any cloud will do. So this is. Now we make the connections. We can uh, refer. We can refer the diagram. Okay. So here, yeah, this will go from fast Ethernet zero, and this is zero one. So this is zero one here. Then this one to zero two. Then again, this one from here to F01 and here to 02 okay then uh, this one here uh, we take this dotted wire so here 023 this is 023 to here 023 then here 024 of this is connected to 01 of this similarly here 023 of this is connected to 023 of this and then uh, 024 of this is connected to 01 of this and these two there are 024 interfaces are connected so this is 024 this and 024 this okay. then uh, we need to connect this uh, fast ethernet not this is gigabit so this is gigabit 01 of this with gigabit 01 of this then uh, gigabit zero one of this with uh, zero two of this. Okay. Then we have one more connection. One here connection here. So this is uh, we we'll use this one. Uh, fast Ethernet zero one with uh, gigabit zero zero. Okay. And then uh, we need to uh, put a, a serial interface here. We're not put. So we need to put a serial interface here. So we we'll just uh, turn it off first. And then this is this is the serial interface we connect here, and we can check it here if there is a serial interface available or not. So you can see there is serial interface already available here. So now we can make a serial connection from here. So this is zero one zero with this uh, serial connection. If okay, I can turn it down, let us see if cloud is turned. This cloud interface turn on. It is turned on. So we'll just turn on these two interfaces. One is a uh, zero zero. So this should be turned on. Okay. So you can see this turn on, and this serial so must also be turned on. So this is also turned on. Okay. So now, uh, now we can uh, configure the ports now. Okay. So this is the topology we have done. Now one more thing we need to name this. So for our present case, this is actually uh, switch uh, A. Okay. This is switch A, and the adjacent is switch B. We will we will just name this. Uh, this is switch A. So we go here. Okay, we type it as A, and here also switch A. Okay. Then this is switch B. 
we can come here this is switch B this is switch B then this is switch 1 okay. so this is switch 1 only okay the switch 1 okay. and this is uh, switch 2 this is switch 2 so that's all uh, now we'll do the configuration uh, just uh, uh, now we'll do the first part of this practical So in the first part we need to assign this multi-layer switch as the root bridge. First of all let us check whether it is a root, root bridge or not. So we just click on it and go in the CLI mode and uh, uh, no I don't want to configure. Okay then enable. Now uh, we can sh uh, write the command show spanning tree. So now it shows now it is not the root bridge okay what it shows is root is at uh, gigabit 01 okay so uh, this the interface which is connected on 01 is the root okay so 01 means this one okay so let us type the command here CLI we go in CLI mode of this particular uh, uh, switch okay enable and then again show spanning tree so you can see this is the root bridge okay so we want to assign this particular switch as the root so we we'll assign how to make this as a root bridge let us see so we come here at this point okay again we we'll come to the main switch the multi-layer switch okay now here we type the command config sorry configure terminal and then now we spanning the type this command vlan one okay, and root primary okay. now this has been assigned now we can check it uh, uh, by this command also either we can type uh, do show span okay. now you can see this is the root bridge okay this has become the root bridge now now we can come to this switch and make it as a secondary switch ok so just configure terminal ok the same command spanning tree vlan 1 ok and then root and this is the secondary one ok now we can also do do show Now this is this is not the uh, primary now. Okay, so this is the first part is complete. Now for this part, we go to first uh, switch A, okay. and again CLI mode. Okay. If we are in this particular, A, we have to enable, okay. and then config terminal. Okay. Now we type the following command. We go into the interfaces. Okay, interface. Uh, range and fast ethernet so we have a uh, zero slash uh, one and two then uh, switch port mode access then spanning tree port fast and we also apply the BPU BPDU guard the spanning tree here we have BPDU enable okay so this has been done now we just uh, minimize and we come to the switch B now type the same command here Uh, we go into the interface range fast ethernet okay. then here zero slash so there are only two pcs connected so the two interfaces now switch port okay. mode access then again switch port uh, port fast
sorry. So this is uh, spanning tree. So this is the spanning tree. Spanning tree and port fast. Okay. And again spanning tree. Spanning tree and BP DU guard enable. Now uh, we come to this switch one, okay. And switch one, okay. Uh, we come to uh, uh, the interface, okay. And range is a uh, fast, uh, fast Ethernet. And here the interfaces are 23 and 24. Okay. So spanning three, guard, root. then we come to this particular switch to type the same command okay. enable okay. then config terminal okay. and then interface range fast ethernet then uh, 0 slash 23 24 okay. and here also spanning tree guard root So now this is done. Okay. The second part is complete now. So for this particular we go to switch A. Now uh, this should be in this particular mode switch A config if range. If it is not, then we must type this particular command to come in this particular mode. Now uh, we type the command switch switch port port security enter and then the same switch port security and then maximum is 2 then again switch port security now your MAC address sticky then finally the switch port <coughs> violation shutdown so this has been done on switch A, the same thing is done on switch B. So we come to switch B, okay, uh, enable, then config terminal, then we have to go to interface, so this is 1, 2. So we are already in this mode, if it already in this mode then we no need to type this all the above commands. We can directly start. So the first is uh, all the commands which we have done. Port security, enter. Then again switch port, port security. Maxim, maximum is 2. And again the same command, switch port security. Then MAC address. Sticky. Then switch port, port security. Violation shut down. Okay, this has been done. Now let us check whether this security is enabled or not. So now we come to this point. Uh, this uh, okay, and then uh, put uh, control Z will come out. Okay, now we can type the command show port security. Okay, and then interface F zero slash one. We can see it is enabled. Okay, the security has been enabled. You can see this port security is enabled. So that's all for the. Uh, this is the what we have done. Now we have to disable the unused port. They'll see how to do that. Now, in order to disable the unused ports, we see for with respect to switch A and switch B, we are only using four ports. This is one, two, twenty, twenty-three, twenty-four. So all the ports from uh, three to twenty-two must be disabled in both the cases. So we come here, okay, and then. Uh, if it is in this mode, we need to enable it. Then config terminal. Okay. Now we type the command interface. Then we have to select a range. So range. Then uh, for fast Ethernet, then we have from uh, zero slash. So from three to twenty two, we have to disable. So we can just uh, shut down. Okay. So th this all the unused ports are shut down the same thing is done in this case okay. this is uh, or okay we have to come it come out actually exit okay. because we need to select the range 
so then range okay. then uh, pass ethernet from 0 slash 3 to 22 and then shut down okay. so this is done okay. so uh, we have completed all the three parts okay. please practice it properly thanks for watching